Hello doctors have a beautiful day this is Dr Herb a passionate doctor mentoring worldwide Menke's disease versus the Wilson's disease So firstly we are looking at Menke's disease Menke's disease is nothing but the also known as a kinky hair disease So now we are going to compare both these diseases so kinky hair that is Menke's disease is nothing but the X linked recessive Now on the other hand if you look at the Wilson's disease Wilson's disease is nothing but it is autosomal autosomal and what is it it is recessive autosomal recessive whereas the kinky's disease was x linked recessive then we're looking at the genetic findings that is it is there is a mutation mutation of what mutation of the copper transporting transporting so mutation of the copper transporting and there is also p type p type adenosine try phosphatase that is 7a and this leads to the copper deficiency next what we see is in case of kinky's disease so now we are just talking about the kinky's that is menke's disease and wilson's the point we noticed is that it is autosomal recessive so now going back to the menke's disease So in case of Menke's disease, there is a low serum, low serum copper, and there is also the ceruloplasmin levels, low serum copper and the ceruloplasmin levels. Now we are looking at the Wilson's disease. So in case of Wilson's disease, as we discussed earlier, it is autosomal recessive, and there is a mutation of there is mutation, and mutation of what? Mutation of the adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine. triphosphatase this is 7b and this is nothing but on the chromosome 13q14 and it leads to an excessive excessive copper accumulation next what we see is in case of wilson's disease there is a so in case of wilson's disease there is a low low what low ceruloplasmin levels So in case of Wilson's disease, there is low ceruloplasmin levels, whereas in case of the Menke's disease, what we saw is there is low copper, low serum copper, serum copper, as well as the ceruloplasmin levels. So in case of the uh, Wilson's disease, what we see is there is low ceruloplasmin levels as well as low serum-free copper levels, and an increase increase in the urinary copper excretion. increase in the urinary copper excretion so just to recap we compared the kinky hair disease there is nothing but the menke's disease along with the wilson's disease so the menke's disease was nothing but the x linked recessive whereas the wilson's disease was a autosomal recessive and looking at kinky's disease the menke's disease it is a mutation of the copper transporting p type adenosine triphosphate 7a and this leads to the copper deficiency and next looking at the wilson's disease is a mutation of the adenosine triphosphate 7b so this is nothing but affecting the 7b and this is on the chromosome 13q14 and this leads to the excessive copper accumulation excessive copper accumulation then looking at the kinky's hair disease the there is a low serum copper there is low serum copper and the ceruloplasmin levels whereas in case of wilson's disease there is a low ceruloplasmin levels as well as low serum free copper levels and increase and increase in the urinary copper excretion 